Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very special problem and it's a very much relevant for a J advanced type of exam. It is uh, from one of the Russian school problem. Uh, so you can uh, see here, I shared this problem yesterday with some of the students and uh, many students came with the right answer in the very first attempt. So here is the problem uh, statement. Three identically small charged metal balls are connected by non-conductive uh, threads that form a regular, uh, here it's a regular equilateral triangle and are in balance. Tension force of the two threads, T and the third is T1. What will be the tensile forces of the threads if the balls are connected to each other by a thin conductor? Ignore the charge on the conductor in addition to the tension forces on the ball only the force of coulombic uh, interaction between the balls act so this is the situation here and uh, guys uh, for uh, my group public group telegram link is given in the disc description of the video and uh, yes you can recommend this channel to your friends and uh, colleagues and we'll be coming up with the more such uh, problems in future also so you can find some of the best problems of physics on this channel uh, so here is a situation in the beginning uh, it is given tension here is t here it is t and here it is t1 so from the symmetry we can say uh, this charge and this charge must be different but this charge and this charge will be same then only here and here we can have same tension so now you can say uh, the force of uh, electrostatic repulsion will be acting like this. So corresponding tensions are going to act in this manner. Similarly here, uh, tension T and T is this way and Fe and Fe will be in this direction. And similarly here, this is force Fe and this is force Fe. So just by balancing, we can say that tension T1 will, must be balancing this Coulombic uh, repulsion between the charges Q2. Uh, these q1 and q2 we are uh, using from our side so they should not come in that uh, final answer all right so you can find here in this case uh, that uh, this force which is kq2 square uh, by l square is equal to t1 and similarly here you can uh, find that uh, this force fe between these two is equal to the tension t so k q1 q2 by l square is uh, equal to t so these are the two equations and now when we are connecting uh, these spheres with a conducting wire so what we are going to have is charges will redistribute and they will redistribute in such a way that finally all the three balls are having same potential all right so once these balls are having uh, same potential we can say they must be having equal charge as well and if we know that they are having equal charge, so we can apply charge conservation. So finally, charge is uh, 3Q. Let's assume capital Q is the charges on, uh, charge on each sphere. So now I can say here, this 3Q must be equal to 2Q2 plus Q1. So from here, I know the value of this capital Q. And uh, by solving uh, these two equations, anyways, we'll come to this part later on. So now situation is, uh, these three balls are having equal uh, charges so now the strings are going to have same tension everywhere and if that is the case just by balancing these two we can say tf is equal to kq square by l square now this value of capital q i am going to substitute here so i am going to get uh, this uh, k by 9 l square is equal to 2q2 plus q1 whole square when i simplify this uh, you can see q2 square directly i am going to get from here and q1 q2 term also i am going to get uh, directly from this part and this q1 i can just adjust equation 1 and 2 and i can get the value of q1 here so kq1 uh, square by l square i am going to get t square by t1 so let's substitute these values here and uh, simplify i am going to get this final tension in the string as 2t1 plus t whole square divided by 9t1 so they could ask uh, this question in uh, multiple ways so it's a very nice problem simple and uh, you know, just two three minor uh, concepts so guys there is one uh, very important news and that is uh, unacademy 
unsat you can say unacademy's national scholarship admission test so this is happening it is one of the biggest uh, exam and uh, it will be for the category of idj neat and uh, foundation 9 10th so you can say we, it is being conducted at a very large scale 40 cities and you will have 90% scholarship worth 150 cr so that's a huge amount and i think uh, almost everyone can get uh, up to 90% scholarship so just uh, uh, give it a try and as a reward for top rankers there will be 40 iphones in total across uh, idj neat and uh, foundation you can get all india rank with detailed performance report and uh, um, just remember the last date for enrollment is 2nd of uh, june so just take care of this and uh, don't forget to uh, write this exam that's it guys and in order to enroll you can use my code uh, nitin sir that's it guys uh, just let me know if you are getting the right answer for this uh, problem and if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like share this video with others and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it